comments and views expressed on the Kevin Smith Show are those of the people that make them and do not necessarily reflect the views of Kevin Smith, the Kevin Smith Show, or its affiliates or sponsors. Tonight, my guest is James Horak, and we're going to be talking about yet another really bizarre photograph from Soho Satellite. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to the Kevin Smith Show. You may remember a few weeks ago, uh, two or three weeks ago, we discussed here on this show um, a photograph that had come from the Soho satellite that showed some objects, very large objects, uh, in orbit around our sun, very close to the sun. Uh, so these are not like way out into the solar system somewhere. They're right up next to the sun. And uh, you may remember, uh, those of you who are members of the Kevin Smith Show, I showed you those photographs, or that photograph, and we zoomed in and took a good close look at uh, the uh, objects that were in orbit around the sun. And uh, you may also remember that I had as my guest to discuss those, to talk about those, James Horak. Now, he is my guest this evening. He will be joining me here in just a few minutes. And um, he's, um, well, I, I see that there is a call that's coming in, but uh, I cannot answer that call. Okay. Uh, so anyway, uh, James Horak will join us here in just a moment, and uh, we're going to be talking about yet another bizarre photograph that has come from Soho, and uh, we'll be um, getting his comments and his thoughts about this particular photograph, and I'll be showing that to you. So those of you who are part of our members area you're watching on our TV channel, you're going to see the photograph. Now, this came, this hit the Internet today. All right, so uh, uh, this, is, this is fresh. This hit the Internet today. Uh, let me just check and see um, who it is that has called us. Uh, perhaps it is Mr. Horak, perhaps not. Uh, caller, is this James Horak? I guess not. Okay. All right. So uh, we will get him on the phone line here in just a little bit. Now, um, this photograph from Soho, uh, for those of you who have never heard of Soho, you need to know that it is a uh, satellite that observes the sun. It was uh, built and launched by uh, the ESA, that's the European Space Agency, and um, then it is operated by NASA. So it's a joint venture between ESA and NASA. When you look at these photographs from SOHO, right in the center, it, it, looks, like, it looks like somebody took a platter and put it right in the center of the lens, because right in the center, uh, that's where the sun would be, but it's blocked by this filter that looks like, just it's circular, it just looks like a platter. And the reason for that is to keep the satellite lens, to keep the satellite camera from um, uh, burning up, keep the electronics from burning up. 
because it is pointed full time right at the sun. So when we see these objects, what we're seeing is, you know, you, you have the platter right in the center. You have the, the, the blacked out circle right in the center. That's where the sun would be. But you can see, you know, the sun's flares coming from around that circle. You can see that. But then right at the edge of that circle, which means you're right up next to the sun, that's where you see the objects uh, most of the time. They're right up next to that circle, so they're in very close proximity to the sun. Sometimes they're a little further away. Sometimes they're right next to it. Well, the one today is right next to the sun, all right? And um, it is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So... Um, I'll try to describe it for those of you who are listening by radio, but let's, uh, let's take a look at what's happening with these photographs. Actually, this is all one photograph, and um, the, uh, we're going to look at it zoomed in at uh, several levels. And uh, we also will attempt to uh, describe what we're looking at here. So what we're looking at is the disk that I described with the flares of the sun, the light of the sun coming out from the edges, and right about the 5 o'clock position, there's a tiny little white dot, and that's the object we're going to focus on. Now, let me zoom in just a little bit so that folks can kind of see what that white dot looks like. Okay. It lo it has a shape to it. It looks like a flying saucer shape. And guess what? It has some sort of a beam coming out of the bottom of it. Now, let's zoom in a little closer. And we can see clearly that it is kind of a flying saucer shape and it's got this beam looks like a beam of energy coming out of it and actually at this zoom level you don't know whether it's a, a beam of some kind of energy coming out of it or uh, and it's it's coming like from right under it and headed down towards the bottom of the picture or if it's a trail of some kind of exhaust like uh, maybe it's losing fuel or something. But if we zoom in just a little bit closer, we can now see that is a very coherent, non-spreading beam of some kind of energy. And it's got some kind of little bulges of energy in it, uh, little bright spots of energy in it. And um, uh, pretty amazing stuff, really, when you, you ta really take a look at it. Now, uh, we had James Horak on the telephone with us, and he was experiencing some telephone problems, and we, um, right when we came out of the break, uh, we lost him. And so what we're going to try and do is get him back on the telephone and um, see if we can uh, uh, get him to comment on these pictures and uh, give us, you know, his insight, because he's got quite an uh, interesting perspective on these sorts of things, as all of you know. And um, uh, he's, he's, well, if you've heard him before, you know that 